Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today is officially one week until we fly to Lanzarote, which is very exciting. So I've made today Lanzarote holiday preparation day. I have my suitcase um, on my bed at the minute with all of my stuff from my wardrobe that I could think of that I wanted to take on holiday with me. We only have room for a cabin bag suitcase. So it's only about this big and I've never packed for five days in a suitcase that big before, so I'm gonna struggle. I basically got all of my stuff laid out on my bed. You can kind of see the mess it's currently making already. Today, I'm also going to get lots of treatments done at two different salons. Um, one is from my friend Shannon, which is Shan's Beauty Cabin uh, based in Bentfleet. She's doing my nails and my toenails. Um, and also later on I'm going to see my friend Faith that is doing the rest of my treatments which is waxing, eyebrows, eyelashes, all that jazz. Um, she is a beautician that works for, I think it's Lux Beauty, I always get the name mixed up, um, but it's based in Southend. So I'm going to get all that done later, all the information will be in the description below. This time next week as I'm filming this, um, we'll already be there, we'll probably be lounging around the pool in the sunshine. Currently the sky is grey where I live. Um, here in Essex and it's not a good sight um, so I'm very much looking forward to some sunshine however when you see this video it first goes up on a Wednesday that we're actually there so it'll actually be um, a few days into our holiday by this point um, we'll be doing something very very exciting that day but I'm going to get into that um, a little bit later on in the video I'm going to show you our entire itinerary which currently looks like this yes I'm a geek and by then you'll be able to see all of the treatments done you'll be able to see me nice and fresh faced and glowy and ready for holiday instead of this mess right here so i'm going to start this video by showing you some of the things that i bought for the holiday there isn't much um but it might come in handy for any of you that are planning on going on holiday if you're looking to buy little minis and things like that um we find that the best way to do it is to obviously use the products you've already got and just put it in little bottles um i didn't know where the best place to look for that was so i'm just going to show you where i found mine and it is the fancy Primark. Primark's a winner every time. We found these um, in Primark and they've got a little like moisturiser kind of one. So one of them and then two, three, four bottles and a little funnel as well so you can actually put your stuff in easier. Um, but they've all got different tops. You've got a spray top, you've got a pushy top and you've got a squeeze <laughs> and then you've just got a normal bottle. So that's all of them in there. You've got pink ones for the ladies. I've got two for me. Ben also got himself one from Primark as well um, and these are, there's a few more in here I believe, there's a smaller one and it looks like you could probably put like your contacts or something in it if any of you do that. Um, there's a funnel in this one and there's two of the normal bottles here and then you've got a slightly larger normal bottle and then you've got two of the squeezy ones for the men's one as well and they've also come with little labels, you can't really see them the light in can you kind of see them um it comes with little labels so you can stick them on so you remember what's what which is i, I thought was great this one was a pound um and so were these ones even if you get less in these um they were a pound also what i mean by women's and men's we found that in the men's section we found that in the women's section it's black and pink anyone can use that the only thing that um i thought i would struggle with like fitting it all in was sun cream ben as we know is part ginger so he has to use a lot of sun cream, so we didn't know how much we were going to need. So we bought this little pack that we got from Superdrug for £6. So in here it's got a SPF 15, SPF 30 and um, an after sun spray in there as well. And they're 100 millilitres, obviously for the cabin bags and suitcases you can only take up to 100 millilitres of each thing with you and obviously it has to be in a clear plastic bags that was already pretty much done for us. I have to mention as well, these ones are all either 80 millilitres or 100 millilitres and they've also got the um, tags on there as well so that you know which ones are 100, which ones are 80. We also got from Superdrug um, a toothpaste mini and a deodorant each and that was two for three in Superdrug at the minute. All this we managed to get in October, November time so if you think, oh no, we're not, we're not gonna find it, it's, or, it's already in there, you just have to look for it. I also bought some stuff from Boohoo. I also sent lots of stuff back to Boohoo. <laughs> 
I've had a right mare. Ben had a right mare as well with Boohoo sizing at the minute. I just bought these, if you can see them. Um, I think they were in the colour mid blue. They were five pounds, I think, but they have them in a light blue, black, and white as well. And they're just called High Waist Roll Hem Mum Short Mid Blue in a size 14. And they fit me um, perfectly, and I've kind of been fluctuating size wise recently. So I bought them, I bought the other ones in a 14. They did fit, they just didn't look great <laughs> they just had no shape to them um so these ones i would 100 percent recommend if i remember i will tag these ones in the description down below and then i did buy two swimming costumes from boohoo one was a 14 and it was too small in the upper region it was like a halter neck one it was so lovely and it was a controlled one everything looked really nice it just i was trying to hook these up and it was like strangling me so that wouldn't have worked and um, so I tried to buy the same swimming costume just in a 16 they didn't have it in stock so I was gutted and um, so I found another one I got this one in a 16 because I was like surely if the 114 doesn't fit me no 14s are gonna fit me so I get a 16 did it fit no so I sent that one back I did a little Amazon search and I found a different one I'm just hoping it fits it's one of those tie-ups at the top and you can tie it up around the back as well so I'm assuming you can kind of make it to fit you if it doesn't fit naturally anyway so fingers crossed that's one thing that's ready to turn up so hopefully when it does turn up I'll be able to show you what it looks like as for buying things for my holiday that's kind of it that is my miniature holiday haul so if you want to know a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the holiday make sure you wait till the end of this video but for now i'm going to do some packing and then i'm going to go and have a little pamper i'm very excited i'm feeling very girly today but yeah um let's go and get cracking on with the rest of the day and preparing for lanzarote everybody it's now the next day as you can see i've had all my treatments done i've just got out of the shower as well so apologies for the wet hair i look a little bit like like i've half done my makeup at the minute which is probably really strange but it's just to make me feel a little bit more holiday ready and i feel good about it so but my swimming costume turned up attempt number three it fits it actually fits i'm going to show you it this is what it looks like pretty simple it's just a halter neck one but it's got this like um like almost like a lacy kind of detail around the edge and twice around the middle as well and it ties up at the front it also ties up at the back so you can kind of make it fit the way you want it to and it fits i'm so happy about it tick 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 i'm basically ready i've just got to put it all in the suitcase because it still looks like an absolute mess and yeah, I thought I'd just chuck on the end of this video um, some of the things that we're going to be doing whilst we're there. We did our research, we did the whole trip advisor, working out where it is we wanted to go, what we wanted to visit, where we wanted to explore whilst we were there. So we're staying in Costa de Guiz um, in a hotel called El Treble. That's how you say it. Um, we have the hotel with Tui, our flights are with EasyJet, and we're going from Gatwick. Our departure date on Monday is at 7.40 in the morning, which means we have to be up very, very, very early. So we get there at about midday. That day is literally just exploring and getting to know the area, really, um, which will be fun. Tuesday is um, our whole classic pool day. We thought after a long day, the day before we would just want to relax. And um, we might go and explore like Costa de Guise a little bit and just see what's kind of in the area, or maybe go down to the beach or something. But We've said that um, we're just going to kind of enjoy the hotel um, 
and the area again for our second day just to relax us into the holiday a little bit before we start going mad um, otherwise we are going to be shattered day three is a very excited day um however i'm actually a little bit apprehensive about this day this is the day that i need the swimsuit for really we are going to a place called rancho texas park which is almost like i don't know how to explain it it's like a zoo but you get your dolphins, your sea lions. It's a little bit like Laura Park in Tenerife, if any of you have ever been there. That's pretty much a whole day thing. And we have also booked a dolphin swim. They say it's not really a dolphin swim. It's more like a dolphin interaction, but you do get in the water with the dolphins. You just get to get up close and personal with the dolphin, really. That's the bit I'm quite apprehensive about um, because, yeah, it's just, the whole thing that happened with SeaWorld. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm just a little bit nervous for it. I've done a lot of research into seeing how the animals are treated there. It seems like they're treated really, really well, but also it's, it's not in their natural habitat, is it? We have booked it because we think it would be exciting and fun and we've read the reviews and it seems really safe and it seems like the dolphins wanna be there. I don't know how to say that, because you don't really know. You can't actually interact that much with a dolphin to know if they actually want to be there or if they're just being there because they're being fed. Do you know what I mean? So I'm si I'm feeling a little bit funny about it, but um, Ben's also said to me that if I get there and I'm not feeling comfortable with it, if it looks like they're not happy or whatever, then we won't do it. Um, but they have also stated on there that it's not a guaranteed interaction with the dolphins because if they don't want to do something, they won't do it, which I prefer. But we're going to get a nice little insight into that so if you are curious about something like that then hopefully we can help on that vlog um but yeah a little bit apprehensive about that one and um, but we'll see how it goes we'll see what it's like anyway that's on wednesday um and then we're just going to have an evening in the hotel thursday we're actually going to tim and Faye national park which if you don't know much about lanzarote is where the volcanoes are um, and you can do like a bus tour around there. We've actually hired a car for that day because we did lots of research finding out which way it was best to do it, which was cheaper, which was easiest to avoid queues and stuff. And it just worked out that um, hiring a car was the cheapest and most efficient way of doing it. So I've done that. Um, if you want more information on that, go make sure you check out the vlogs when they're there because we'll let you know everything that we're doing um, and all the information on that. It's meant to be a really, really good day. So we're going to do that for the morning. We're not going to do the camel riding and stuff because also I don't know how I feel about that either. Um, so we're just going to skip that part. And then we're just going to enjoy our last evening there and maybe finish off the day with a bit of pool time. And obviously going to collect something from one of the shops to say we've been to Lanzarote because why would you not do that? And then Friday we leave quite early in the morning to be fair. Our departure is at... 10 to 1 but obviously that means we then have to be at the airport quite early so we'll probably have time just to get up for breakfast and go really so there's nothing really still on friday it's just travel day but yeah it's a busy busy holiday but there's a lot of time there to do things that we want to do and there's lots of time there to just explore and just chill by the pool so hopefully it's going to be a really really good holiday i'm sure it will be we're looking forward to some sun the weather at the minute says it's going to be about 21 degrees very exciting less than a week to go now which is amazing make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's lots of holiday content coming up um including lanzarote obviously and then obviously disneyland paris so make sure you stay tuned subscribe hit the bell notification comment down below anything that you want to see whilst we're there and we'll make sure we include it um and yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!